So recently on PlayStation 5, Ratchet and Clank got a new game called Rift Apart, which has a new female Lombox named Rivet as one of the main characters. And apparently, she's causing a little bit of a problem. So this is Rivet. She is basically the alternate version of Ratchet, a character from a long-running series called Ratchet and Clank. It's a PlayStation exclusive, in case you didn't know. And it's actually a pretty fun game. I had never played one of these games before. This was the first one I'd played. And it's a very beautiful game, I gotta tell you. This is probably one of the one of the prettiest <laughs> next-gen games I've played. I, I actually enjoyed it a lot. Almost so that I might go back and check out some of the games that came before it. But apparently, Rivet is a problem. And I want to show you why. Do you see the shape of her hips? Well, this is causing a little bit of a meltdown, which I think is ridiculous because usually women have hips that are bigger than men's. And I don't understand why it's such a problem to give female characters traits like this. Now, the argument is that she's a fox or whatever she is, a lombox, lombax or whatever they are. I don't know. I, this is the first one I've ever played. I actually like this character, though. I got to say, like, she doesn't come off as as angry all the time. She's actually quite likable. And I thought they divided the time up between the two characters quite nicely. I liked this character. But, you know, there's always going to be problems with somebody. One of the designers of the game is speaking out. And, of course, Reset Era is also upset. Let's take a look. So here's one of the people that worked on the game, and he's really upset that the character has uh, small boobs and hips that he had a meltdown on Twitter. Uh, he's basically putting a job application out. I want to make sure that I, I stress that because that's what this is. This is a job application. So he's looking for new work because he left Insomniac. So he put out a very, very long woke thread on Twitter. This is the archive. I'm going to go through it. Something for my fellow men in game development, especially those just now entering the industry. There are a lot of things you may run into that aren't directly harmful to people in the same way as sexual harassment, but they still contribute to hostile environments and harm. There's a strong chance I'm going to get flack for saying this publicly, but it's worth building up. It's worth bringing up because it's an example of how small things contribute to building environments that are hostile to women and all things on all kinds of other marginalized people in game development. When I was on the latest Ratchet and Clank game, there was an incredibly heated discussion that happened between the game director, art director, the lead writer, the lead character, TD, and myself. It was about Rivet, the female lead. Note, the three people above, including myself, are no longer at Insomniac. I'm not going to tag them because they're adults. I trust to comment if they feel it's appropriate. The discussion or argument really was basically about whether we should make Rivet look more stereotypically feminine looking. This is, that is, should she have wider hips, visible breasts or bumps in her suit, and other physical traits we normally associate with cartoony women? Uh, yes. Uh, because people like it makes them look more human and more relatable. Also, I know it's a crazy concept. I know. But there are differences between men and women. I know it's crazy. It's amazing to even even consider that. But um, <laughs> why is this even a big deal? Okay, first off, these are all fantasy characters. And I, I see both people would take that argument and and some people would say, well, it's a fantasy character, so why do they need to look human? Okay, she's a space fox, and he calls her that, not me. Uh, she's a space fox. She's not a human. But people like human-looking characters, which is why they look human. Okay, it makes them a little more relatable. Like, there's no problem with, like, Ratchet having the shape of a human. But why does Rivet need to, like, 
not look like a human female, right? It's uh, it's very strange. It's it's the erasure. It's the erasing of women, basically. Like the 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 traits that make a woman up are pretty much being erased. This is one of the reasons why when a female character has large boobs, you see a big outcry. This is why I started calling them all Twitter Puritans. Because anytime a woman has a butt or boobs or, you know, that hourglass shape, people get crazy about it. Okay. And uh, it's it's kind of weird. And it's kind of a concern. It's a it's the it's erasing of feminine traits, because for the past couple of years, this weird message has been pushed, you know, that women need to be more like men if they want to be strong. They need to look and act more like a man. So here's what he goes on to say. The argument basically broke down like this. The game director and the art director wanted to have a visibly, fairly, stereotypically feminine look. The lead writer and lead character, TD, and I wanted to keep her as is. This is where things get into territory that men like myself and Gabe Dev need to pay really effing close attention. The lead writer was a woman. The lead character, TD, was a trans person who at the time had not transitioned. Everyone else in the discussion was a white cis male. (laughs) Man, you are one pathetic loser. So, two-thirds of the women on the team, as well as one cis white man, me, were telling the art director and game lead that Rivet should not, as an, should not, as an alien space fox, have wide hips and boobs. And that's it. Once again, it's always about the boobs, hips, stuff like that, feminine traits. Okay, it's done. It's done for her to be more relatable and for furries, uh, who will find her very attractive, I would imagine. Uh, which I'm sure will sell copies. <laughs> this is all about selling copies, which, you know, uh, a lot of these people that get upset about that don't understand. Um, it's it's fun. It's the stuff that ruins entertainment. But luckily, it would seem that, uh, you know, most people, like, <laughs> the, the right design won. We'll just say that, right? Okay, he goes on to say, we believe that it went against the message of the game, which is that anyone can be a hero regardless of how they look. I mean, is that the message of the game? I haven't finished it yet. I'm actually at the last level. I'm almost done. I've been playing it in pieces. Uh, the message of the game to me was uh, <laughs> we need to we need to fix the we need to fix the dimensionator. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know. How can anyone be here? The game's about two, like, furry creatures, but whatever. Uh, you don't need to be stereotypically feminine to be a woman. Rivet is a effing alien space fox, just like Ratchet. The argument had been going on for an hour before I finally pulled one of the framed Ratchet and Crank Clank posters down from the wall, put it in front of both leads, and told them to look at the damn thing and tell me how much Ratchet looked like a human man. Well, that's pretty unprofessional. You got angry stuff. No wonder you're not working at the company anymore. Man, like, I'm not sure. This guy's, like, angry and, like, a loose cannon. I don't know if I would I would want him working for me. But keep in mind, this is a job application. Because it's doing a couple of things. Look how woke I am. Look how I stand up for justice and all of this shit. This is him putting a job application out there. And I always stress that that's what these are. These are the new job applications for entertainment areas. This is why you see comic pros doing all the time. Voice actors doing all the time. Game devs doing it all the time. Journalists doing it all the time. They're doing this, you know, who can be the wokest because it's kind of a job application. It's a job trait, especially in fields of entertainment. So they put this out there so that they can be noticed and looked at. Now someone will go look at this dude's work. Say, Ooh, we, we we run a very inclusive work program here. So would you please come and bring your expertise of wokeness to the team? Does it matter what kind of work you've done? I like your woke. Sh- I like your wokeness, sir. And they'll bring him on. 
So it breaks people's trust when you allow things like this to happen, uh, happen unchallenged. If you don't push back against tiny little things like giving rivet boobs, you're essentially saying things, those things don't matter. If the small things don't matter, where's the line for bigger things? I would say it doesn't matter. Who really gives a shit <laughs> if, if the character has boobs? Okay, this has happened throughout the history of cartoons and so on and so on. All of these like animal characters have always had human traits, even the men. But that doesn't matter, does it? Only matters with the ladies, this erasure of women. I am not perfect, and I have let things like this happen unchecked before. It happened at my first job, and I regret some of the choices made when working on their characters there. It's not effing work it. Speaking up about small things, heads off, blizzard scale BS. For the game journalists read this, I will not be commenting on the article you are inevitably writing. Do not contact me unless it's about work, which is exactly what I'm imagining he'll get. And then, of course, a reset era, freaking out about this, talking about it, of course. Uh, they uh, are very, very happy about this. And they want this to kind of get, they want this to get more notice. That's literally what they're saying in this thread. So here's what's going to happen. And I predict this, and we'll be talking about this again when the articles drop. Because of this meltdown, you're going to see Kotaku and Polygon first. They'll be the first to do it. They're going to write articles. I can't believe it. Oh my God. Well, they were absolutely right. Why'd they do this to Rivet? And then more articles are going to pop up talking about how, you know, terrible Rivet is. Oh, my God, the world ended because she has hips. And uh, the ball will be in Insomniac's court then. You know, are they going to bend the knee and apologize? Or are they going to stand tall? Because I don't think Insomniac did anything wrong. In fact, they made a good, a good game, in my opinion. That game is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing it short, uh, but it's fun. It's a good time. Uh, I liked it. I would recommend it at its full price, to be honest. Uh, to me, the game length, when people get mad about a game, short, how short a game is, like to me, as well as the game fun, did you have a good time playing it? Because if they had made it longer and it, and it hurt the game, would that make it a better game? Would you rather have it be short and sweet or long and bloated? I think that that's... That's a conversation worth having. I'd rather have the game be good and fun from start to finish. My opinion. That's just my opinion. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.